Stargazers are in for a treat early Monday morning when, clear skies allowing, they'll be able to see the second total lunar eclipse of this year, which will transform the full moon into a coppery red blood moon. Dr. Laura Dreesen is an astronomer at the University of Sydney and is with me in the studio. Great to see you, uh, Laura. So what can people expect to see early on Monday? So it should be really cool and all of Australia gets to see this one. So we don't have to say which city, everyone in Australia will be able to see this. So you'll be able to see the moon going into the Earth's shadow. So you'll st see that shadow crossing in front of the moon. The moon will get fully into Earth's shadow and turn that beautiful red. It'll be in there for about 82 minutes and then coming out the other side. So why does it turn red? So it turns red because red light doesn't scatter in our atmosphere. So blue light, all of those other colours, they scatter away. It's why the sunset is red too. And red light also bends a bit around the Earth. So the only light that from the sun that hits the moon is the red light. So we say early Monday morning, how early? <laughs> yes, very early, depending on where you are. If you're on the East Coast, sort of Eastern Standard Time, it'll be, you probably wanna get up around 2, 2.30 a.m., similar for Central Time. But if you're in WA, it's more like midnight, mm. 12.30 a.m. in the morning on Monday. We're seeing pictures of uh, a previous one now. The moon seems bigger somehow. Is that an optical illusion? Or yes, so there's a really cool illusion called the moon illusion. When the moon is close to the horizon, our brains, for some reason, we don't actually know why, make it look really, really big. So it'll be pretty high in the sky, sort of towards the west, so it shouldn't look particularly big compared mm. to normal. Are these rare events, Laura? On average, anywhere in the world, it's roughly once a year, but actually there's going to be another one that some of Australia will be able to see in March next year. Mm -hmm. And then for anywhere in the world, we have to wait until the very end of 2028 to see the next one. So the 31st of December, 2028. Okay. So we've got a bit of a wait for the next good one. And do you need a telescope to, to see it well? Or you know, how, how well can you see it with the naked eye? So the best part of a lunar eclipse is you really don't need any special equipment at all. Just hopefully nice clear skies. And so long as you can see the sort of west, but reasonably high up in the sky, you should be able to see it. So we had one early in the year, is that right? I think that's where the pictures were from that we were seeing earlier. Yes, that wasn't, one wasn't very good from Australia though. So it wasn't really, I think we only really got most of the partial eclipse, not the full eclipse where the moon goes really into that dark part of the shadow. So that one wasn't really for us, but this one, Australia and a few countries on this side of the earth will see it, but the US and the Americas won't see this one at all. So we can say with some certainty that you will be up at what, 3 a.m. watching? Yes, I'll try. Come on, Sydney. <laughs> Laura, thank you. Thanks for having me.